guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf6 and today I'm being joined by Asami. Asami with Arigato Food Tours and we've been on several food tours together yeah. but this one is going to be special because drinking. it's a drinking tour. It's a cocktail tour of the Shinbashi Ginza area. Ah, the Shinbashi Ginza area, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a salaryman place after yes. work so kind of casual places. Casual places and also we're going to go to a high-end place as well. Ooh, yeah. alright. And food too? Uh, little, uh, yeah, well, it's gonna be yeah. food too. There's gonna yeah, be lots of, of food. This is an Eric meal time. It's gonna be food. All right, yes. let's get going. So the first stop on the tour is it looks like a sumo wrestler. You just got the big. Oh wait, it's different. Tanuki. Tanuki. It's a raccoon dog. Raccoon dog in English. That's yeah. right. This area used to call a tanuki alley. Uh, so there's a tanuki here. It's really hot yeah, too. I know, it's the, really sun, hot. the sun has been on this. It's really hot. So Eric, take a look. Tanuki Alley, mm. okay. So Tanuki has an A special power. A special power. Yeah, so take a look first one. Okay. There's a big hat here. So which is avoiding the butt weather. Okay. Makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. And you can see the big eyes. Mm -hmm. You can kind of, you know, figure it out what kind of person you deal with. Like, you know, it's great vision. And the next one, you can see past big. This is actually yours, kind of showing like you can about like, trusting. Like your money. Yeah, money. So your like money. trusting. Oh, okay. And you see a little bit of a sake bottle. Sake bottle. Where you go? Sake bottle. Sake bottle. Supposed to be sake he's, bottle. He's you can it. see. Yeah. So you can see right that. Here, so something like you know you will show. This is it right here. Yeah. Can you yeah. read this one? I can read really pronounce. This is virtue. Oh. So yeah, that's Vir the one. It's good virtue. And you can see a little bit of you know big stomach right here to make calm, like something more relaxed. Okay. Hmm. And also, do you know this part, right? Uh, it says blob. Right, so this is actually, I can't really talk really loud, but in Japanese we say kintama. Kintama. Yes, gold bowl, right? Yeah, the so golden. which is like, you know, having a great, you know, like a pocket for the money. Right. So showing a lot of money for it. And it says financial luck and fertility. Yeah. So they have a little special about the tanuki wine. He's loaded. Yeah, yeah. He's loaded. It's right here. Opponents. All right. So, so. Is this, are we going yeah, to tanuki, tanuki Alley? Tanuki right. Alley, which is called Ikimai Beauty. All right. Since 1966. This so. is so educational. I'm learning so much. I'm getting thirsty. Let's go. Let's get the I'm beer. Thirsty. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> we are in a craft beer bar in Shibashi. And this place is really neat. Yeah? Yeah. I love this place. You can see there's a more than 30, 40 different uh, Japanese craft beer. And every season always have a different thing. So what we have today, so... Yeah, this is today's menu. So the menu changes daily. And what we've selected just four samples, yep. I guess. Yep. We've got to pace ourselves, so we're going small. All right, that's so true. So number one, we have Akabane. Akabane. Which is... One of the person's name here. It's a. Did you see that? It's a berry. It's a berry shake. She designed it. Herself, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'll try that one. Okay. So I will try number two, which is number fourteen. Which is this one. So this one. Can you read it? It's hey. called Haze the Lord. This is an IPA. So yours IPA. is a stronger one. A little one. more stronger. Yeah. As we know Asami likes to drink. All right. Let's do Cheers. Kupai. Here we go. Oh, I love it. Oh, so fruity. Wow. This almost tastes like juice. This one tastes like a more mango. Mango, really? Mango with a little happy mango. Wow. Almost not like beer at all. Like, like women would really enjoy this. Oh, maybe you want to switch around? Sure. I'll switch. All right. Oh, wow. That's. It's really, really oh, I like this one better. You like it better? Yeah. This one, yeah, much better. It's an IPA. Mm. Yeah. I like this one. So, yeah, haze the Lord. Praise the Lord, haze the Lord. This is a stronger one. It's 6.5% uh, alcohol. Oh, wow, you need this to... This one's 5. Uh, that's, oh, no, mine's 6 too. Is it? Oh, okay, they're the same. Oh, okay. You don't taste the alcohol. I know, it's there, really it's dangerous. Really dry. Though, yeah. yeah. It's good. All right, so here. 
Oh, you're fast today. You're thirsty. Well, I was thirsty. I went to this new yoga class, yoga, and they had us doing these like burpees, oh, no, no. high energy oh, exercises, no. push-ups, and jumping around. So, yeah, you lose. I feel way like way. I could drink some beer. All right, great. So let's do next one. Next two. Okay. All right. We got a cheat sheet right here. See, see, we got a cheat sheet right here. Because there's so many on here, we don't want to mess this up. <laughs> Alright, this one. That one's called number 22. This is Coke flavored beer. From okay, uh, Osaka. From Osaka. Okay. okay, and this last one. Last one is a 24. Niju Ban. Where you go? Right here. It's 26. 26. This is Haze, Hazy Days with Strawberry. IPA too. Strawberry. I'll take this one. Okay. Alright, let's see. Oh wow, it smells like Coke. Like Coke. Sorry, it's my pronunciation. Coke. Coke. You said it perfect. Easy to stuff. Oh, wow. Like pineapple. Pineapple? No, not pineapple. Strawberry. Looks like it. Pineapple. Mine's like Coke. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, this is strange. <laughs> really? It seems like with craft beer, there's there's no limits as to what you can yeah. put in, no with flavorings that's true. and things. That's true. It's, but technically, it's still beer, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah. It tastes more like a cocktail to me. Mmm. That too. You want to nice. try this one too? Uh -huh. It's like tastes like a coke. Does it taste like coke? Yeah, she said there was like, like herbs, or, herbs or spices in it. It's a little spicy. It? Too. Yeah, it's a spice and I a little. I like spice. Okay, we'll see. Mm. Oh yeah, it tastes like a pineapple this one. Right? Yeah, it's not strawberry. Maybe made, they made a mistake. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Hmm. It's kind of like Coke, but it's not sweet. Yeah, it's like a right? little... Mm, it's a little different. Yeah. Like cinnamon taste, maybe, or something. Hmm. Interesting, but, but if you like Coke, this would be a good beer to start yeah, with. Yeah, it's good. I like that. Yeah, if you're a Coke drinker and you want to start drinking beer, this would be a good one. Yeah, cheers. All right. We're getting pounded to start. Well, I need to eat something. Yeah, should we eat? Yeah, today? let's eat. All right, so what we have today, Eric? This is called Otsumami, right? Yeah. And it's the Sankan Seto. <laughs> Which means what we have. the variety set. All right. That looks like bamboo, it's right? It's a memma, yeah. It's a, a memma. bamboo. How do you say it? It's a memma. Memma. Memma with a little bit of a chili and also a kosho, which so is like going to be a spice, black pepper. Spicy bamboo. Bamboo, yeah, bamboo. Okay. Bamboo. bamboo. That Tomato. looks like a hard boiled egg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And cutie. It's a cucumber cutie, salad. Cucumber. Something refreshing. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. Itadakimasu. 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 She's taught me well. Itadakimasu. You have to say itadakimasu before itadakimasu. you eat. It's really important. My mom can, right. you know. That's right. All right, let's just do it. Make sure you get play. You know. All right. Oh, why we sit? I think we should sit down now. Oh, it's okay. Side. We got plenty of room. It's okay. So you, I forgot you left it too. Yeah, right. it's okay. Go on in. Go on in. All right. I suppose you give you on your plate. Are you gonna serve me? Yeah, because I'm a Japanese oh, person. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, and look at this. It's a half-boiled egg. Beautiful. That's the best kind of egg. Do you know how to make a half-boiled egg of like course. that? Of course, I know how to seven do. Seven minutes, right? Yes. No. Seven uh, minutes. Seven minutes. Yeah, that's true. Is that true? Seven minutes? Seven minutes. I tried it. It works. Yeah. All right, let's see. I'm hungry. All right, looks good. Oh, oh. Looks good. 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 It's more like a pickle. Yeah, yeah, it's really pickle. Bamboo. Oh, that's good too. <coughs> it's very spicy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, this is nice. I was so hungry today. Thank is this, you. Is this your first meal of the day, Asami? Mm. It is. Mm. No wonder. Can you tell my hair is a little no different wonder. today? It is. You colored it again. I went to a hair salon this morning. Every day is different. Mm. Oh, this just this morning. Mm -hmm. Wow, I like that. See? 
Wow. It almost looks like it's even wet still from yeah. the blow dry. See, because I say I have a little satsue oh. today with a filming. So. This is important. Yeah. Yeah. This is, these Arigato Japan tour videos do very well mm -hmm. for some reason. For some reason. Yeah. After three hours later, what's going to happen to me if I keep drinking? We'll see. That'll we'll be see. interesting. You guys keep watching. We'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, let's Could drink. Get interesting. Let's drink. Let's drink. Pineapple, we think this is now. It's not look it's like good. strawberry. <laughs> it was, I think it's made a mistake. It's good. It is good. It's not too sweet. Mm. They're all good. So, Eric, do you know what beer is made of from? Beer is made from hops. And? And alcohol. <laughs> of course, right? I actually really didn't really know. So for me, remember every time we drinking together, we always order beer, right? We do. But that's the always a lager. The lager. You know, we okay. have a lager and an L, right? Mm -hmm. The beer. Mm -hmm. Lager is something more easy to drink. So every time I drink so fast. But look at me today. Uh, this is pretty much more L. I see. Which so is going to be a little more, bigger, you know, stronger. stronger. So I can't really drink faster. So something kind of interesting about like, you know, so many different kind of beers as well, too. But I think since these are flavored, though, they, they go down pretty easy. Yeah. Right? So See? that's kind of the, the secret of craft beer is See? making it taste really delicious yeah. and packing in the extra alcohol, maybe. So how many places on the tour today? So today we have... Sorry. Oh. It's okay. Help it's yourself. Like my ha Come by. So we're going to go to here. Well, we're already here. So sorry. And also we're gonna have sake. We're gonna have sake. We're gonna up the steaks are gonna be up. And cocktail. And cocktails. And sake. Wow. And okay. Alright, well maybe we need to eat first. Do we? We can drink and eat together. Oh yeah, yeah. That's true. Actually, I knew there was going to be drinking on this tour, so I went and I had some bread earlier, and I think I'm ready. Not rice? Not rice. Uh, you have to be this much rice, do you think? Yeah. Well, that's what you're going to feed me, right? <laughs> mm. God, he's like this place has a really nice atmosphere. Look at that smile. Yeah, I wish, I know, sorry, we started already, but like, that's okay. Have more, so you can see a little bit about early that's, here. That's the secret. You start early and there's no people here. And so, yeah. I was eating down here too, so. Really, really cute. Cool. We know somebody that would like this place. His name yeah. is Kenichi. Oh, you're a friend, eh? Kenichi, if you're watching, you should come here. <laughs> Anybody like something more dry, something a little more earthy, something stronger, something more delicate? Something dry. Dry. Yeah, dry. 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 Oh. ドライ。すごいなんか強い原種みたいな感じ。原種みたいな感じ。どう一つなんかあのシーズンなヒアルロイスとかあれば。はい、お願いします。オンチュ、イッツサケタン。うん。ユキ、あ、あとウニが美味
とこれが愛媛の石づち愛媛,はい愛媛辛口のお酒とこれが季節のお酒の冷やおろしで岐阜の小左衛門岐阜ピーフェクトおかとで、熟成酒で兵庫の竜力。はい、That looks like whisky. ねえ。星美味しい。しいで、こちらが山形の名工富士を。はい。The Black Fox. はい。I don't really know anything about Japanese sake, Asami. Could you teach us a thing or two? But you know how to drink. That's the most important thing. I could take care of that part. Right? So, but anyway, so sake is made from. So, it's a fermented, fermented rice. Okay, fermented rice. got it. And then it's really important is the water. It's 80% of water is. Sake is actually every. How do you say?、Oh, I'm a little drunk. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You're doing fine. 80%. But anyway. 80% can talk about water. It. But anyway, let's drink. Yeah, much. Yeah. So, first one. This is the dry one that, dry that one. I requested. Plus 10. Plus 10. Plus 10,、so、which is really, really dry. Really dry. Okay, excellent. Yeah, dry as opposed to sweet, not sweet.、Right? Mm. Minus 20 if you see the sweet one. It's plus 10. It smells amazing. So, do I, do I sip this or do I just shoot it like a shot? <laughs> no, 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 just kidding. Just kidding. Don't do, please don't do that. Thank you very much. Mmm, that is dry. What did you taste? It's a, it's a little bit fruity too, but it's very, very smooth. I don't taste much. Like, the alcohol is, is very well covered、okay. in the taste. Yeah, I like it a lot. All right, let's see.、Mm, smell like really ricey, like a little earthy kind of you know, smell. I miss that. I miss the smell of the rice and the earth. This is kind of my sake. It's really dry,、sake? but also has a lot of flavor. Really earthy, but it's a dry finish. It's good. Huh. It's really earthy. Earth. Earthy. That's a really good word to describe、yeah. Japanese s a k e It's earthy. Earthy. That is delicious. All right, here we go. So, second one. This is called Hia Oroshi. It's only for this season. It's autumn season. Only. So, this one's gonna taste. Don't、okay. well, tell me. Like leaves? Yeah. Leaves falling off a tree? Ooh, this one's. To me, it tastes creamy. Really? Textures? Creamy. I like、yeah. this. And see, not fruity. I like this one a lot. Can I try? Okay. Absolutely. Maybe more potent, stronger, perhaps. Oh, yeah. It is a little、stronger. more stronger. But it's actually really smooth. In there. Wow, it's really refreshing. I think it's going to be great with the is, Japanese food. These are amazing. The last time I had sake, it was from the supermarket, and it, was, it tasted horrible.、Yeah. All right. This is different. All right, next one. Next one. This, this is, is that one. Dai Ginjo. Dai is a super. Dai. Super premium. Don't die when you drink this. Super premium. Super premium. This was the, the Black Fox one, right? Yes, that's the one、okay. that you pick. All right, here we go. Mmm. Oh my. They're graduating in level as they go on. Mmm. Tastes like licorice to me. Can I try it? Yes, of course. Licorice. You know what licorice is? Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wow. Like, can you taste like a little kind of bubbly? I don't know how to explain. A t o n s a n carbonation? Mm, 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 mm. Bubbly. Bubbly, she says. Actually, it's really delicate. It's delicate, that's the word. Really that's, delicate, that's really. Silky. Silky, yeah, silky.、Mm. So、Are we getting there? Silky, earthy. All right.、Ooh. Okay. Okay, and we saved the best. All right, so this is not... called Koshu. It's called is old or aged. Shu is the sake. So it's a 20 years of the Koshu. So, like the same as a fine whiskey? Yeah, I can say. It smells like it just came out of a barrel or something. Mm, 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 mm. Wow. 
and it even looks like a whiskey. But this is Japanese sake, right? Koshu. Okay, koshu. Hmm. Can I try? You first. I'm not oh, really I love it. Sure. You guys know mirin. Do you know mirin? mirin. Japanese cooking. Uh, how to explain the mirin? The cooking sake that has a little bit of sugar and sake that usually Japanese people use it. But anyway, smells like a mirin for me. Can you smell mm -hmm. mirin? Like a. It's mirin. Not vinegar. Yeah, mirin. It's a mirin. Hmm. Aged. Aged. Yeah. It's actually. Like a little bit of a closet. Comes from a closet. Comes out of a closet. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Brown sugar. 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 It could be, mm, mm. but it's not really super sweet. Mm, but mm, mm. but it, it does have a really like distinct, mm. deep taste, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, and those are Don't great. Don't mind if I finish it up. Oh no 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 no! Oh no! Oh. I'm sorry. It's okay. I will take three. Oh. That was delicious. All right, let's delicious. try. We suppose you know. What else do we have here? Sake is supposed to pair with the food. Did you know, Eric? We forgot to eat. Yeah, we okay. forgot. Well, it's not too late, yeah? Yeah, it's okay, yeah. yeah. So, what we have today, uh, octopus. Uh, octopus. Taco. And also we have a salted sea urchin, which is uni. Did you say salted sea urchin? Salted sea urchin. Sea urchin. Here we go. Isn't sea urchin usually uh, sort of orange color? Mm, mm. But when you salt it, it... That color. Okay. Should Where I... do we start? Uh, maybe octopus. Yeah. Okay, let's start mm, with octopus. Mm. Yeah, this is more... Mm. More of an adult flavored. sort of, what do you say, um, acquired taste. Yeah. That's start with the too. taco, start with the octopus. Is it going to be pickled? Uh, I don't think so. You think it's Maybe show you. Show you, yeah. Mm. Nice. I'll eat it too. Mm. Fresh. I love taco. Mm. It is nice mm. to have like a little bite of food mm. with, mm. with sake, for sure. No. The glass is just right because we still have more places to go on this tour, right? Sure. We won't be like falling over by the end. <laughs> by the end, maybe falling over is okay. okay. All right, this is sea urchin, guys. Sea urchin. Uni. Uni, the salted one. The color is different, eh? It almost looks like peanut butter. It smells like sea urchin. It smells like a sea urchin. Yeah, sea urchin. Yeah, sea. Can we get a graphic of the sea urchin, Andy, my editor? For the people that don't look at the spiny sort of that. It's, yeah, we don't eat these in America. Oh, yeah. Mm. Creamy mm. goodness. That's kind of my favorite things. Then may I say that it goes really well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. with the sake. Really well. Yeah, this guy's got it figured out. So there's a little bit left here, and I'm just curious, is mm. like what would be the alcohol of so, Japanese sake? Sake, uh, usually levels. like around 14% to around like 19%. Like I said, this is around 15%. So if more than 22%, 23%, mm. you, you can't call sake anymore. Then it becomes liqueur. Uh, right, okay, right. Gotcha. All right, that's not too bad. We can handle that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So smooth. So for you guys that really like the vending machines and you guys keep requesting them, this is a really special vending machine. I, did, I never heard about yeah. it. Yeah. Tommy, what, what is rescue? So vendor? rescue vending machines is means the meaning of Japan. You know, we have a lot of typhoon. Right. You know, like earthquake coming up. Lots of natural hazards. Yeah. If that happened, they use the Wi-Fi to control. And if that happened, they give you mm. free drink for everyone. We don't get suffered, so. So automatically you wouldn't have to put money into it? it no, nope, just, just... You just push it and it's gonna it, come out. Yeah. 
Wow. And that's supported by like the government or the Kirin company? Kirin, yeah, Kirin company. That's... And it's not everything yet, but like they're trying to do more and more. Mm -hmm. So after the 2011. Yeah, so for the next typhoon that comes, this, this would be a good place to come, this machine. I will wait here. <laughs> You'll wait there. Oh, yeah, I know that that's true. <laughs> Start with the combined. Come by. I'm not paying today. Oh, that means I'm paying. Yeah, boss. Okay, of right. course. It's worth every penny. Hmm. Wow, this tastes like water compared to what we've had yeah. in the right? first couple of I feel like it's yeah. 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 You're drinking, is that a. Highboru. Oh, high oh, okay. soda lemon. That's a pretty simple drink, too, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. Simple. Okay. Oh, that's good. And the first dish has arrived. Look at this. Can you guys guess what this is? It's whale sperm. Is is that right? Oh no. So is it? Who's it? Quail. Quail eggs. Quail eggs. You can see little, you know, uh, color is brown, right? Because marinated with a little bit of soy sauce already. Oh good, I yeah, like that. So. That's that's great. And it's got what? Scallions, onions Scallion on top. Scallion on top, negi on top. Perfect. So, though, that's my favorite. You just go in. You go in and get some. It's much richer it's than good. a regular air. That's true. Delicious. Chilled. Just the right amount to show you. Texture is great. Yeah. Yeah. It's got, yeah. It's really important. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Okay. So good. Yeah, the texture of a regular chicken egg is more, it's more soft. More right, soft. This is, it's the more hotter a little bit. Yeah. Mm. Mm. No. Creamier too. So the fried foods have arrived. We've got, this is tonkatsu, right? Tonkatsu pork, pork cutlet. Oh, it looks delicious. And then the fish is over on this side. This is aji, right? It's a Spanish mackerel. Spanish mackerel? Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is Ika or squid. Mm, squid, calamari. Love the presentation. And then this is hot, spicy, hot mustard here. Karashi. And then what do we put sauce Let's on this, do right? Let's sauce on top. Which one is it? Like, is that the soy sauce? Or, oh yeah, that's that one. This should be the sauce, the yeah. thicker. Generally, this will be the sauce. This will be the show you can tell by yeah, like the, the thickness. thickness right yeah, like the thickness of it. Or you could just spread it. Oh, oh sauce. Kaisen sauce. <laughs> that's that's four. Kaisen. Kaisen. Yeah. So okay, let's do this right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. It just comes out a little bit, huh? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. This is the thick one for the tonkatsu. Ooh, oh, I can't wait. I can't yeah. wait. All right. Somebody, somebody's hungry. All right. And the ika doesn't go anything? I think it's just lemon is good. What do you just think? Just lemon? Yeah, maybe yeah. so. Or, yeah. yeah, okay. Wait. Can I just squeeze that lemon? Yeah, sure. It's a tiny... It's tiny there's not much there. there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe it doesn't need it. All right, let's see. I'm so excited about to eat All right, food. let's get into it. All right. Itadakimasu. What are you going to do first? Pork. You're going to do pork. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, can't wait. Fun. Itadakimasu. There's, there's something really special about pork cutlet in mm. Japan. Right? Yeah. It's just, it's amazing. Mm. Super juicy. Egg? You made a mistake. This is soy sauce. We're supposed oh. to get this one. Uh oh. <laughs> oh my. Here's the sauce right here. Oh. Oh no. Okay, so we've got really salty. Yeah, it was tonkatsu. really salty. Yeah, this is what we want. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> she already told us. Uh oh, all right, let's try one more time. Okay, round two. <laughs> two. We've got super salty. Oh. No. Okay. Yeah, we let's put the extra mustard on it. Yeah, I think it's better. To cover the, yeah. the salty. Yeah, yeah, it was really salty. You got to be careful with your sauces in Japan. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Mm, mm. 
This is what I'm looking for, yes. Mm. Better, huh? Mmm. <laughs> wow. It's good. It's one of the best ways to eat pork. Mm. Yeah, tonkatsu, you guys. If you come to Japan, you've got to try it. Rosukatsu tonkatsu oh, is goodness. so good. Oh. Mm. Right, let's move to a different one. Okay. Let's do the Aji. Okay. Mackerel. Oh, no, no, Japanese way. You have to pieces. eat one bite. Can you eat oh, one bite? Oh, that's true. No, There's we have pieces. to. No, no, no. We have enough? I cannot be uh, greedy about it. We have it. enough? Can I try this part? Because sure. I can eat that part. Okay. That's okay? Yep. All right. Pull it in. Mmm. Oh, Mm. You eat the tail. Mm, good. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. That's the best part. It's salty. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I like that. Mm. The way they do the the flakes there, it's just it's so it's so soft, right? Which one? Which one? Well, just the the oh, way yeah. they're doing the batter. It's, it melts in your mouth. It's crunchy right? and everything. Oh, so good. All right, so did we save the best for last? Yes. Squid. Squid. Ika. Ika. Can I have? Sure, get in there. No sauce on this one, no shoyu. No mustard even. Mm, you like mustard. Just like, just like that? It doesn't need any? You don't need any You don't need anything, sauce. okay. Mm. Let's try it like that. <laughs> you wouldn't know that was squid by the by the look of it, would you? It does not look like squid. Is it soft? It's just like this up here. Oh my! Mm. Oh, it's mm. So tender. Mm. 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 Wow. Well, a lot of times, squid is is chewy. Mm. But it's not. Chew, it's not. Chew, yeah, chewy. It's not. Texture as well, but it's good. All right, so we've moved on to a different neighborhood. This is called Ginza. So more expensive, if you will. More, look at the beautiful shops. More high class, that's what it is. Do I need to change my t-shirt into like a suit maybe? No. Okay, secret spot right here. Secret. Here, just here. This way. Oh boy. Let's go here. So this is the hidden spot of the shrine. So you know like the after the Shura era, a lot of Kabuki guys come here to pray. And also this area, the, the shrine is really known for love power they give you. So that's why a lot of the people come love here. Power shrine. Love power. So if you wanna pray, yeah. you know, you can pray your own. It's like a really hidden spot too. I like this. Very special. Do you feel the love? You guys feel the love? <laughs> if you want to buy whiskey, guys, right here. That's the place, huh? They have a Japanese hibiki. You mean to, like to take it home with you? Uh, yes. Oh. Yes. It's really expensive, but it's, if you want to buy something like a Japanese it's really nice. whiskey, they have a in the Ginza in here. Like the quality Nika stuff, you all see? that. You can see the Hakushu Yamazaki. They have like, you know, mm -hmm. really expensive things. Yeah, we should go, yeah, yeah I think it calls up, since this is the cocktail tour. Yeah. They have a filming too. Wow. Mm hmm. So you can see the Yamazaki here. Wow. You see? Hakushu. Wow. 15. Uh, that's the 2016 Sherry cask you can see. Oh, it's like eight thousand dollars. Oh my gosh. Should we just grab it and a drink? Yeah. yeah. You, got a, you got a key. Oh my gosh. So you can see tons of whiskey here. Sometimes you can see have a lot of laugh flowing if you like a <laughs> They're filming. So are we. <laughs> it looks like we're at a sembe place, rice cracker. Wow, we're in, it's like a dungeon. So this is called Matsuzaka Senbei. It's been here for 200 years. 
kidding. Yes. Oh. You know Sembe, right? We, sure, uh, rice crackers. Rice crackers. But actually here, you can see, this is actually a little different than a Sembe. You look, this looks like a little bit about tawara, oh. like a tile. So this is called tawara Sembe, uh, kawara Sembe. Wow. So tastes similar to a little more cookie. Cookie, yeah. It looks cookie. more like a cookie. And I like about this store, depends on the season, they're always changing the designs, everything by the hand. Wow. And father say, if you come back here, beer, they say, father, thank you. Oh. But not this time. But you see a lot of it too. Right. So here we go. That's great. Mm -hmm. This one has 34, 34 different ones in it. How cool is that? A set of 34. It's the fall version. These are the leaves. And Looks yeah, beautiful. you can see this one. This is actually a using from 200 years ago. So you know like in Japan we have a earthquake in 1923? Mm-hmm. The big earthquake? The Kanto yes. earthquake? Yes. yes. After that this area is like, you know, fires and everything. And the government want to control, like they're trying to take it off the, you know, all the tools and everything. But they keep that in this area. They kept it in this area. In this ah. basement, so they still have a secret. So it's like a secret. Secret area. Wow. So. Very cool. Here we go. Sweet. This is a good rice cracker. More like a cookie. Yeah. It's like a I like the cookie. sweetness. Mm hmm This is delicious. And you can see like a little bit of a you know, autumn season version. Mm -hmm. You can see that different color. I love it. If you come back in a Christmas time, you see Santa Claus or like, you know, you see the greens and red too. Yeah. I like that. That's so special. Do you remember those kind of custom. fancy one? You have to bring to the boyfriend's house or mm -hmm. remember? Omiyage. That's your omiyage, your omiyage. souvenirs. Souvenir, I have to bring to my boyfriend's house to make sure that they like me, right? Mm-hmm. Boyfriend or girlfriend, that's your gift. Yes. Yeah, you buy it here, you take it home to them. It's really important. Mm -hmm. Special. Oh, there we go. You can take a look for a little bit of video. Oh, the history. Nagano Prefecture. This whole shop sells things that are from Nagano Prefecture. Yeah. It's called Antenna Shop. Antenna Shop. You don't have to go there anymore. Pop up, like a pop up shop. Pop shop up down. Yeah, everything like that. This is really nice, Eric. Is it? I love it. I just had it. Yeah, it was really nice. Good. I can still remember. It's a Merlot. Wow. Japan is stepping up its wine game. Meruro. How do you say it in English? Merlot. Meruro. Mm -hmm. 
That is tasty. Smooth for a Merlot, very smooth. What are you tasting? You know, this is so funny. Me, personal, I can really, how to say, guessing white wine or sake. But like, I'm not used to having a lot of like raspberry or berry. That's why red wine for me is something I can't really catch up that much. I think it depends on how you grow up, always changing that kind of palette as well. So I think you're from the US, so you should know more red wine. I should. Right? I should. Because I don't know. Oh, I'm okay. drunk. I'm not sure. I'm thinking this one blackberry. Some kind of berry. This is the driest one. This is really good quality wine. You know, Eric? Most of the wine I drink in Japan is imported. Yeah. So that's what's really nice. This is Japan produced wine. I think the wine booming is coming up in Japan. I know. Because whiskey is pretty much done. Not mm. done, but you can't really get it's that so much, forever. right? Yeah. I think wine is coming. And the thing is, Japanese wine, you don't get hangover. <laughs> no, seriously. I really need to. You can drink as much as you like. You won't get hangover. And is the cost reasonable for a bottle of wine here? You know what? Japanese wine are not so expensive. Not so, not so, no, no, not so, not so cheap. Not so cheap, yeah, that's why. Because Korean is really nice. Yeah. And hard to grow the grape as well. Mm. And not too much land yeah. in Japan, so. But it's great with food. But it's food. definitely quality wine, for sure. Do you watch the like, first like movie in a Godzilla one? The first one, the very first one. Oh, it's here, huh? So the Godzilla was in the movie. And this is actually called, uh, you know, you guys know that this is a Seiko Beauty. Mm. Not Seiko Beauty. The very first Godzilla movie? Yeah, the so very first. he was in the movie in Japan and actually he didn't get the permission from the Wako Beauty. So Wako, you know, sued the Godzilla and he had to pay so much money about it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so that was the first movie. So I don't know how much Godzilla paid for that, but that was the real story about So that's why movie. Godzilla had to make so many movies to pay for to this. To pay for that God, for Wako. Yeah, so that is the one. And also, you know, this area is the most expensive area in Japan. You know, this whole corner, real estate, the one we're standing, it's about about five thousand dollar US. That right little, here. This little the one right that's like pretty much postcard. Wow. Five thousand dollar in US. Wow. Super super expensive area we are standing right now. Welcome to Ginza everybody. Ginza. Here we go, the next part of the tour. It's in this Ginza. building right Ginza here. Ginza six. Ginza six. It's a really, really Eric high. Sir, end. Eric Surf six? Ginza six? Ginza six. That's my building. So the drinks have arrived after lots of mixing and shaking. It was, yeah, very artistic. I mean, look at that. You wanna guess what's Can you what's see what's mine? inside there? So, what do you think, what's in there? I see the gold. So my drink is, uh, there is a matcha. You guys know matcha, right? Matcha. Green tea, powder Haku green tea. Type of the Japanese uh, single malt. It's a really, really famous one. It's a little more peaty one. And also a little bit of a kuromitsu. Black sugar, brown sugar? Brown sugar. Yeah. Smells amazing. And you see a little bit of gold. Okay, Eric, what do you have? This is a wasabi gin tonic. Pretty simple. Can you smell? I can smell. Can you smell? Oh boy. Oh yes, I can, can smell, smell like wasabi. Yeah. That's called a tea box. Oh my goodness. So pineapple? So what is that? Genmai tea woka. Genmai tea woka. Genmai tea. Uh, it's a vodka inf infused with a little bit of a genmai tea, which is a type of a tea, and a pineapple. And Very fancy. It's served with a little bit of a hinoki box. Yeah. Right. And what else? Okay. Over here? Real. What do we have here? Fancy. That's the fanciest one. Look at that. Do you know what that is? What is this? Passion fruit puree. What's in there? Fruit Coconut puree. Coconut water. Vanilla sugar. Vanilla sugar. Oh, it's amazing. Okay, should we do? Kanpai uh, shimashou. Kanpai. Let's get it. Four of us. Okay, beautiful. You're always going so low with your kanpai. Of course, I don't want to pay. Yeah, oh, it's goodness. like a lot of money here. <laughs> All right. 
Cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh right. my, that's got some bite. Want to try mine? Ooh. Ooh. Can I try? It tastes like a gin tonic yeah. smoothie. Yes, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. It tastes like a gin tonic smoothie. I love the flavor. Oh. It's right to the sinuses. It's good. I love it. Wow. Oof. You gotta try this one, man. Yeah, Everybody, if you come here. You want to try this one? Yes, I do. It's really a Japanese cocktail, I think. Oh, this is very strong. Very strong. Delicious. Smooth, though. Whew. Look at the beautiful eyes. The older bartender in Japan, they have to make your own eyes they every they, day. They, they so carve. That's beautiful. That's part of the training. Yeah, right? before it's they, a skill. They start their shift. You gotta carve the eyes. Beautiful, right? It is amazing. It's hand carved. It's amazing. Yeah, let's drink out of the tea box. It's got pineapple in it. Yep. Oh, it smells a bit sweeter. <laughs> Ooh, it's a bit like a milkshake. Ooh, that sounds like good. Like a fancy, fancy milkshake. You try. All right, let's see. Mm. Itadakimasu. I taste the pineapple. Oh yeah, it's like, is that the, what's inside? What kind of tea inside? Sencha. I taste the sencha. It's umami right inside. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a, you taste the bitterness of the leaves. Yeah, whereas the matcha is more a powder. Okay, so this, of all the drinks, this is gonna be the sweetest one. This has got some coconut in it. Coconut water inside. Right. Let's see how it tastes. You will get drunk with it, with alcohol. Oh, this one's really good. <laughs> Oh, it's Can I try? Of course, get in there, yeah. That one's delicious. Fruity. Oh wow. Oh, this is actually I taste a lot of matcha now. Wow, it's strong. It's very strong. The coconut water. But fruity too. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It's good. This place is exotic. So this dish here is called the otoshi or the service charge at the bar. It's included. Okay, and I guess I made a mistake. I ordered a beef jerky, not oh. a beef jockey. Um, it's okay, watch it. It's okay. Oh, we got beef jerky coming. I never tried it, so it's good. Ooh. So this is everything smoked. Mozzarella cheese. This is called karasumi, which is gonna be a bora egg. You know the bora egg? Bora egg. Oh, it's an egg. Egg. And umeboshi. Umeboshi. Um, you see a little smells bit of amazing. Uh, wagyu jerky. Japanese oh, beef jerky. Japanese wagyu beef jerky. That's amazing. I'm gonna start with my sembe here. On the it's a shishimi. Mm. Oh, that's spicy. Shishimi, yeah, it's the red pepper. Mm. Salame. Everyone's different. This one's a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. Nori. Nori, seaweed. Mm. Tried seaweed. Mm. And sweetest one for last. Matcha brownie. Ooh. A green tea brownie. Where do you, where are you gonna see this? Only in Japan. It's green. Mm. A little walnut inside. That's mmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Maybe I should eat your mac. Yeah, it is so sweet. Chase it with that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. I'm happy. What an interesting. She's happy. See, there. Enough said. This is the place to take a date. For sure. Date for sure. For sure. Should we move to the food? Let's move to the food. 
Which one should we get first? Maybe jerky first? Yeah, this one came out first. Alright, let's, let's get the jerky first. Let's try the Wagyu Japanese beef jerky. Japanese Wagyu beef Let's go. Is it hot fresh out of the oven? I wonder, huh? We use chopsticks for this. We gotta be formal. Ready? Mm. Oh my. Mm. Wow. It's like karabi. 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 Which is what? Ribs. Spare rib. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's so good. Mm. 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 It tastes like it just came off a grill. Or something. Mm. It's sweet. It's good. Oh my goodness. I'm just gonna get with it. You guys want a piece here? Help yourselves. Can you get it? Oh, it's so good. It's so soft. It's like, like a bacon, like the beef it's is like bacon. bacon. Yeah. It was really like, um, what was it? Uh, Umebosi, Umebosi. Oh, do you yeah. like it? I do. You kind of use, I know a lot of foreigners, you need to be a little more like, you know, used to it, you know, because I know my experience, a lot of people are like, eh, like so salty. Right. Are you always okay with it? Not always. All right, let's try. Okay. Okay, I want to see what you think. Is this really sour? I don't know. It's a smoke, right? So I'm not really sure. Oh, smoked? It's smoked. Everything displays a smoked. Okay. Sour plums. Ooh. Oh, wow. It's different, isn't it? It's like sour and then a uh, little smoke in the same time. Sour and smoky. I've never had those two things combined. Wow. Sour and smoky. I know this is gonna be great with whiskey with a little smoky one. Could be. Can I have one more? You help yourself, of course. Okay. It's good. It's tasty, isn't it? Because I think what the smokiness like cancels out the sour. Mm, mm. You know, if it's just all mm, sour, mm, then you're kind mm, of like you look like. like mm, mm, this one. Mm, 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 but mm. with smokiness, makes it kind of. Oh, like, mm, okay. Oh, that's good. It? Right, that's true. Good combination. Wow. These guys got to figure it out. Huh. Want to try the karasumi? Karasumi is one of the really, really famous. <laughs> famous? How do you explain? It's an egg, did you say? Yeah, it's a bora egg. A bora egg. A bora egg. What's a bora? Is that an animal? Uh, yeah, sea animal. It's a sea animal. Okay, I think we'll have to Let's put, try. maybe my editor, we'll have to figure out what a bora egg is and put like a graphic somewhere. Bora, yeah. You if you go to Kishi, you will see bora. Really? Yeah. What does it look like? It's a fish? It's a fish. A fish. Okay, well, let's like just, bora, yeah. okay, let's just try it. Have you tried before? No, never. Really? That's like a melt in your mouth? Really? It's like amazing. It, uh, it's not like the, thou it's not like the Chinese it's thousand, not the thousand year egg. Uh, it's not, it's different. Not that, right? But it's like really, I don't know how to explain it. Like similar to mintaiko, it's a, you know, cod egg. Like fishy? Of course, it's fish, yeah? So it's, oh. Mmm. Mmm. I need garlic with it. Ooh. Really? <coughs> really? Mmm. Can I have everything then? You're gonna have everything. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Really? Never tried before. It's it's creamy, creamy. It's creamy. It's gonna be usually great it's with like a um, socket and wow. It's like like a cream cheese mm. egg. It's 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 an egg that's done cream cheese like the texture is cream cheese. We make pasta with it. But it's smoked. Oh, you do. Mm. 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 It's super good, great, salty a little bit. Wow. This is a umami. Umami. This is umami in Japan. And this is your favorite? You really like this? Every time I go to Taiwan, Taiwan is really reasonable. I always buy it. Mm. And I just kind of grow a little bit on the fly pan. And I eat with a little bit of a daikon or like radish or the garlic. It's really good with the sake. It's good with sake. I agree. Yeah? Can you kind of... I like it. I'm going to have some more. How about that? I'm I'm acquiring the taste for it right now. 
Let's see. You need if I can pick it up. Knife? Yeah, I, don't I need know. a knife and fork. <laughs> How you describe for you? It tastes like a fishy cheese. That's a good point though. Like, yeah, fishy cheese, yeah. I mean, a fishy cheese, is there such a thing? If there, this is it. It's spicy. There's some spice on it. <laughs> really? This spicy? spicy? I don't know. Here, Jessica, you gotta try. She's well, Asami French. wants to eat all of it. Yeah, I know. I was like, I'm ready for chopsticks, Sorry. but she's a French girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and what? It's caviar. Have you tried it? before? No. Oh, really? It's good, isn't it? It's good. It's good. Like cheese, right? Mm. Kind of fish cheese. Mm. Fishy cheese. That's good. <laughs> Good, yeah? It's nice to have try something that's completely different from anything you've ever tried before sometimes. Mm. It's a delicate flavor. The first bite was weird and the second bite was actually this is pretty good. Oh cheese. Mm. Cheese. Cheese. This is camembert cheese. Camembert cheese. That's right. Can't wait. Typical. But I think it's smoke. Oh you can smell. Oh, this just came out of the oven. Mmm. Mm. It's really smoky. Yeah? It's really, really smoky. Not like the kind you get out of the supermarket or convenience store. No. This is, this is something that wow. I eat in Next yeah. level. Mm. That is amazing. Mm. What exactly is a truffle? It's a mushroom. The most Ma oh, expensive mushroom. mushroom um, that I can't even afford it. It smells like a mushroom coming It's to think like of it. white truffle or if you love truffle you gotta come here to drink, that's for sure. It's <laughs> what do you smell? Eric, what do you smell? I'm thinking of like truffle and you know chocolates. Oh chocolate, oh, okay. Totally okay. different. Okay, that's good though, because he never he never Oh my. Wow, that's interesting. Can I? Yes, of course. That's very interesting. Oh my god. Yeah? It's <sighs> purple, right? I know. What is this? What is From France. Truffle vodka from France. Wow. Fancy. It's very fancy. I feel like I'm a French it's... person right now. <laughs> <laughs> right, Jessica? Right? This is really yes. fancy. Right? It definitely is. Should we? Yeah, try it. Tell me about Jessica. Is, she's a she's French girl. She's from France, so <laughs> if anybody can tell us if it's the real thing, does that does that meet your truffles? Um, C'est délicieux. Delicia. What do you say? Delicia. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, you're gonna feed it to me? <laughs> oh my god! I'm now I'm gonna smell that. like mushrooms. Uh, it's a fancy smell, eh? It's good, it's good. It's fancy. Yeah. Are you okay? I'm like... It's very, yeah, I'm very, oh. very, very okay. Fancy smell is like a truffle, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, that was good. That was really nice. You guys ready? It's education time. That side is really special. Uh, sake brewery from Yamaguchi Prefecture, which is right here. This is the one we're gonna try. Mm. But let's take a look. Yeah, well, let's see. How do we make it look more simple to understand? This is what rice looks like when it's harvested. Mm, 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 100%, 100%. Full size. Right? And then to make sake. You have to polish. We have to take it off the rice. Then decide what kind of grade. You remember we were talking about right here? Mm -hmm. Daiginjo is the most expensive one. You see, Three different kind of like you know red or two, but the dasai is only make daiginjo and mm. junmai daiginjo, which is you have to polish at least fifty percent. At least fifty. So you can see, this is actually leftover twenty three. That's what you mean. 
This is leftover 39, leftover 45. Okay, so these are all polished more than 50. Right, so this is actually gonna be a more delicate, more expensive, because they need more rice to make, you know, use it. Ah. And more delicate, it's gonna be more ricey, but that's the kind of different level I as well. I see. Hmm. Mr. Pouring on that's the goods, like. here we go. Oh, they call me Richard as well. Richard? Richard. Yeah, that's like. Where are you from? I'm from Sweden, actually. Sweden, so, okay. fancy. So here we have the most popular of them all, I think, that's side 23. Meaning we're polishing the rice grain down to 23% is left. Using the very core of the rice grain allows it to create this higher quality, like smoother, sweeter aromas from the sides. Hmm. The next, oh, yes. sweet, very sweet. Yes, of course, this time we have a quite simple uh, tasting glass, but if you like to at home, you can have it in a wine glass to really enjoy the aromas oh. as well. So next is the Dasai 39. Hi. So this, using a slightly larger grain of rice, will have a different balance of the sake. Still a smooth body, but a bit drier finish to it. And lastly, it's a Dasai 45 here. It's a more full potted sake, but it's still a premium one, of course. So you might have Creamy. Right here, 45, right here. That's the kind of rice yeah. we're using, yeah? So here we go, we progress from 45? 23 to 39 yeah. to 45. So this is the first uh, simple, uh, well, the dust side tastes that I would say. The 23, 39, 45, the most popular products using different polishing ratios of the rice grain, changing the flavor. The next here, we have a bit more of a step up set here. Again, based on the dust side 23, same polishing as the first one. The three different techniques using a classical way. New modern technique using the centrifuge technique for separating the sake. Instead of pressing the mash, we spin the mash around. So we can separate this pure sake without filters, get a higher purity, smoother, crisper taste, a much more lingering, blossoming aroma as well. Okay, I want to drink that one. No, me too. We have to share that. Okay. And lastly, this is the Tunjit Hayata, named of the Hayata. Lake, mm. named of the late Professor Hayata, using his patented micro bubble technology. We micro create, what? Micro bubble technology. Micro bubble technology. Yes, it's a kind of a gas. We are adding a gas bubble to it. Not sparkling, but adding enough pressure in the bottle so we can pass the rice sake in a lower temperature in a faster time, so it's less damage on it. So we have more fresh sake flavor too. Well, but um, except for fresh sake, it will last much longer. Okay. Richard, Richard, oh, I'm gonna yes. drink that one, Richard. Richard, can you? Do you think you can make like that side, Eric? His name <laughs> is Eric. Because that's Mr. Hayata. Yes? Well, uh, maybe if you come up with a new technique we can use for making the sake, sure. Eric, okay, we have to do it. Okay. okay. All We're right. going to work on our technique. Thank <laughs> yes. you, Richard. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. All right. Thank you the sparkling as well. Oh, thank you. you so like what do you recommend you try first? Yes. I would recommend starting from the right here, mm. going from the 2 3, mm. goes to 39, mm. 4 or 5. Mm. Then go for this set over here, mm. this order. Arigato. Thank you so much. All right. There's a lot of drinks here. Wow. Oh. That's <laughs> Ah, uh, not finished. We still have the one. Oh, that's right, the sparkling. So, then lastly, here's the Dasai 45 sparkling. Based here on the 45 polishing ratio, it's a sparkling cloudy sake. We have a little white mash here. This mash is the actual sake mash inside it. But this is mixing the still fermenting sake mash into the bottle to create the bubble naturally from the fermentation. So I open it here. So I just mix the one time. Natural no. carbonation. Natural carbonation. Wow. Can you see? Oh, oh wow. Okay. Look. Now, now I believe it. Yes. So this is uh, exactly how you used to make champagne or lager beer, if you like to compare as well. Beautiful. So now I tilt it upside down to mix it out. This way, creating cloudiness to it, mm -hmm. adding to the flavor. You can. Wow. So he tell us to drink from this or this? This one, yeah? This one. Let's get that. Oh. I like to the service here as well with the sparkling is the sake cake. Like a sponge cake, but it has the dust like 45 sake inside it for a quite unique flavor. So you might get drunk if I drink, if I eat well, this? Well, I wouldn't recommend driving after eating it. Oh, okay. I don't have a license. It's okay. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> so please enjoy. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. Whew. What a nice presentation that was. 
we? I mean, this and this the same, so let's do it together. Okay. Oh. Wow, so fancy. Ooh. I get a lot of aroma. It's like melon. Can you smell like a little bit of melon? Green apple. It's like a... I was thinking raisins. Hmm. And a little grapefruit. It's smooth though. It's very it's smooth. It's really easy. It's really easy to drink. It's really easy to drink. Mm. It's super premium too. Remember? Mm. Wow. This one, I don't need anything to eat with it. Remember the first time we went here? I need something to eat with. This is something that I can just drink just it. Just drink? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, again, I, I taste a, like a creaminess with this sake. Meaning that there's no bite to it. It's not like, it's just you know, like, sometimes when you, you're drinking sake, like, it's like... Mm, mm, like uh, mm, that kind of flavor. It, yeah, mm. it goes, it, it's hard for... That. Yeah, this doesn't burn when it goes down. So next one, he tell us to drink 39, 39. which is, what's my uh, 100 minus 39? 100, 100 minus 39 would yes. be 61, I think. 61. That's this one. So they pull is 61 of the rice. 39 is leftover. Am I right? Yep. Yep. Okay. Let's try. Let's try. It's really fruity. It's a really long finish, they say, in okay. the memo. Are you having this one or are we going to show oh, this? Oh, no, I'm waiting. Okay. It is a bit different. Am I drinking too much? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it tastes stronger. Definitely Even stronger. Because of the, this is going to be more like, you know, lighter, delicate. This is a little more full body compared full to this body. one. Full body, yeah. Way to it's it. great. It's beautiful. Tasty. <sighs> Tasty. Can we try some cake? Yeah, it's a sembe. Okay, let's do sembe uh, first. Japanese rice plucker. It's gonna be. Um, they use the glutinous rice, so it's gonna be a little more saku saku. Saku saku. What does mm. what does saku saku mean? English, saku saku. Crispy? Crispy? Crispy. crispy? No, crispy is the curry curry, which is oh. Tokyo style. The saku saku is fluffy? I don't fluffy? know. Fluffy? It looks like a fluffy No, it's not there. fluffy. What do you guys say? <laughs> saku saku is um, <laughs> something more. I don't know. It's okay. We can just. It's, it's just fluffy. Like, fluffy, it's right? Fluffy. Right? 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 Okay. Crunchy but fluffy? Saku saku. Mm, saku saku. Mm, mm. This more rice. Mm. You guys know mochi, right? That's the same rice mm. they use. Mm. 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 It goes really well mm. with the sake. Yeah. Mm. Make sure you do recommend to drink this one first, right? Not this one, right? Kore. We'll first uh, try the Dasa ah. 45. Just a little bit at least. A little bit, okay. Yes, just have a little sip. Just to get the base flavor of it. Then you can work your day to the two three centrifuge after some water hours. Thank you. Pretty similar to the 39, I think. Perhaps a bit sweeter. Yeah, I had, had senbei in my mouth too. Yeah, we, we were hungry. <laughs> mm -hmm. But we're trying our best. We have water here too. Oh, I don't need you. Just, okay, you're on. Just, just in case. Oh, thank you so much. What do you think of the 45? I think I want to eat with something food. What do you think? Like this like, one, I don't need it. Like I don't need any food. Uh, but this one, I feel like I want something I want to eat with. What do you recommend to eat with it? Well, of course, any style of Japanese food would be a good pair, but uh, of course, not only Japanese cuisines. You go with the Western uh, it's as well, it goes very good. You can have meat, you can have fries with it as well, like a fried food. It's a very versatile drink, I think. You can have it as a free drink afterwards as well. There's no like set rules for sakis as well. Yes, 
what do you like to experiment with, I would say. Thank you, Richard. How about like smoked salmon? You have a smoked salmon, Richard? <laughs> sorry, I do not, but I will try You're from Sweden. Sweden! Yes, I am. Yes! <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. You don't want to talk. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Okay, moving on. It's beautiful. What do you smell? We're getting to the high end. You smell high end? I smell... You can see? What do you smell? Mm, like sake? Creaminess, I, I don't know. Like, it's strong. That's what I smell, strong something. Oh, wow. Let's see. But Richard says if you put it in a wine glass, you smell. can really yeah. smell the bouquet better. It tastes kind of like more wine too, like similar to more wine. Like paired with uh, food and something more lighter. It's like a new style of sake, I think, for the side. Maybe. I'm drunk. Wine and cheese? You're always thinking about how, how are you going to pair this with food, right? Because I love you, right? Because I want Sure, of course we don't. Maybe like, you know, something Maybe. great with a carpaccio or something lighter. Right. So don't forget you work for Arigato Food Tours. Yeah, I am. Right? And it's yes. food is the main. Oh, that's my job too. Right? Oh, I forgot. Yeah. So the drinking is a bonus, right? Drinking is always a bonus. Yeah, I'm working for that food company. That's right. But we do have some food left here. Oh, that's true. Let's do that. Oh, bad. This is cake. Sake inside. Yes, sake. it's like a spawn cake, or like a palm Spons. cake, if you like to call it. But it has the dust, like 45 sake inside it. Mm. So it has alcohol still inside it. Oh, I love it. It's quite spongy, <laughs> yeah. a bit moist, very good. Mm. You should try this with a sparkling sake. Mm. Oh, okay, let's that save really some. Mm, 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 mm. I agree. Yeah, I will. Sake me. Yep, go for it. With it. It's good with it. It's good with it. You have to do with it. <laughs> ah, I love the that side. That's my favorite. Sake. Right, let me try this. Sparkling sake. I don't think I've ever had this before. Really? No. I didn't know. Is it a thing? I think so. It is still quite a new style of sake in Japan. It hasn't been around for quite a long time. So whilst there is no set rules for how to make sparkling sake, some rules actually just add CO2 to the uh, sake, just like carbonization. So it's, yes, there are some problems, but not natural. Okay. So we a different flavor to it. This one here is a natural carbonized sake, cloudiness. I think that is the, how it's supposed to be. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. The reason why that they're making those kind of sake because Japanese people are, they are pretty much living from the sake. Mm. So that's why like you know you heard about like sparkling sake or yuzu sake which is gonna be citrusy or plum wine because you know young people can mm. join the you know sake. That's a good point. So it's good. It is really good. I get it. But they're moving away from what the traditional sake is to what they Maybe younger sake. people might yeah. be better. I get it. Sure. Mr. Hayato Sake. <laughs> you remember? Mr. Mr. Hayato, Hayato himself. Uh, can be your name. Maybe. Oh, goodness. Looks the same, though, yeah? All right, you go first. Oh. You go first. Are you sure? I think you can maybe appreciate this more than I can. Actually, she, I have a bottle. A, a vet, she has a bottle. I have sorry. a bottle in this house. A veteran sake drinker here. Yeah, see? Sake for me is just beauty of sake. That's how I describe of sake. Beauty of beauty sake. of sake. Like it's just everything clean, polished really well. It's like a new style of sake, you know. That's how I do. Mm. Sorry, I forgot that's, to that's a lot of polish. A lot of polish going on right here with this one. Yeah. The dough. Not worthy. We'll, we'll try to drink this as politely as possible. It's different 
than the others. Mm. Mm. One more little tiny step. It, it, it tastes like drinking a soft drink. It doesn't even... Like a water, yeah? Yeah, very similar to water. Is it? It's that pure. Wow. Hard to believe. This is an alcoholic drink. Wow, it's really incredible. It's but it's amazing. You need to come here. Incredible, so pure. Oh. Wow. What do you think? I think this has been an amazing tour from Arigato Japan food and drink tours. And it looks like there's something more. Oh coming. no! It looks like there's something. Wow, more Richard, are you yeah. serious? Sure. Wouldn't be a complete this, taste thing without. Uh, this oh my, this is the one I was talking about, Eric. Yes. I'm oh, really excited wow. about this. No, I, yeah, I saw oh, the price tag. Yeah. Goodness. Yeah, of course. And so, oh. all of this uh, sake here is. What do you call a premium stock? And you can tell the difference from the start until the finish. It's a very difference, but if you try this one all together, it would be on a different level, I would say. Once you try this one, it might be even difficult to go down to the regular Dasai 23. It is a quite a different one. So, what's we talking about? The polishing ratios of the different sakis here. This one actually, we do not say anything about polishing, it's a secret actually. But all I can tell is less than 20%. Tell me before that. Yes, exactly. Yes. Goodness. But of course, we're also using this newer centrifuge technology and also, of course, more details in how to make it the perfect sake, creating this bottle of dust sake beyond. I'm so lucky to Is this a new technology, Richard? It's, I've never... Wow. Richard, thank you. Arigato. This, this is special. Goodness, and these are wine glasses. Yes, to really enjoy this one as well, you should have it in the wine glass. Let's drink it like a wine. Yes, so you can treat it almost like a wine. You can stir it around, enjoy the notes. Then you sip in with a bit of air, get the palate. You will definitely experience quite the same. I think I thought it was wine glass. Wow, okay. I'm going just... to cleanse the palate here. Okay, I will cleanse your palate. Wow, this is a very special wow. service. Arigato. Thank you, Richard. Thank you so much. Mm. Wow, look at the beautiful okay. wine glass. Yeah. Maybe let's smell first, right? Of course. Melon. Melon, she says melon. Green apple. Green apple. I don't know. I like grapefruit yeah. and raisin, I don't know, for some reason. Earthy. We could say Something earthy. Like that. <laughs> no, it's very different, but anyway. Okay, ready? Melon. Do you know how to taste the sake though? It's Pro okay. Probably it's a little bit. Today. A little Maybe bit, next time. Next a time. little bit on your tongue first? Yes. First, you have to see the color, but we don't need that many moment. Okay. Because we can't see anymore. Yeah. Wow. Just like a beauty of sake. That's, that's only I, I can describe. It's just water. No? Completely different than the others. Right? You don't taste like you just. I don't know. How is it? How is it possible? Because it's just so beautiful. It's like when I grew up, like it kind of tastes like Kool Aid, you know, without yes, the I know, in it. Kool Aid, yeah, Kool Aid, but it's That's kind of this. The taste, but kind of. You shouldn't say that way, yeah. I shouldn't say that way. <laughs> The pureness and the simpleness to it. Just so beautiful, like just beauty of like sake or water. I don't know what's going on, but just so beautiful. And I mean, you could just shoot it all down, but it's so much better just to like to taste, taste the it. Yeah, you don't want to like, like tiny sips. You don't want to do that. I just want to taste it. Because Japanese you know sake has a, a bite to it. Mm, mm. That like a, a very strongness to it when it goes down your throat. Mm. In general, I don't mm, suck it. Mm. This is different. This is a very enjoyable experience. Yabai ne, kore. Oishii. I think you guys should try. I think you guys should try. Super we, good. We have to, yeah, pass off the glasses to our staff here. 
Okay, our staff, like, our staff, it. That's my and our camera person. Yeah, yeah thank so you. you know, this is like Jessica, beautiful. this is Tomoko Tomoko on YouTube. Thank you for doing camera. <laughs> Richard, yeah, thank you so much. This is really, this is the best part of the tour today. Thank you. And Asami, thank you so much again for a, like a fabulous tour. It's a six I thought we have three more hours. We got three more hours, okay, but no? just in case we don't make it. <laughs> Oh, but basically, you guys need to comment down below because there's going to be a giveaway for sure. Join so us. It's definitely a six star Eric Surf Six rating. Join us. Join us. After party? Yes, we do. Okay, yeah. Alright. See you guys next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.